For decades, Boeing and Airbus have reigned supreme in the commercial aviation industry. Their dominance is characterized by a duopoly that has left little room for other players to emerge on the global stage. Both companies have built extensive portfolios of aircraft that cater to a wide range of airline needs, from short-haul to long-haul flights, and their influence extends across continents. Boeing, with its 737 and 777 series, and Airbus, with its A320 and A350 families, have set industry standards in terms of technology, efficiency, and passenger comfort. However, the landscape of the aviation industry is dynamic and shifts in market demand. Technological advancements and environmental regulations are opening the door for new contenders. One such rising star is Embraer, a Brazilian aerospace corporation. Historically known for its regional jets, Embraer is now making significant strides with its E2 series of jetliners. This new series is not just a continuation of their legacy, but a bold step towards challenging the hegemony of Boeing and Airbus. Embraer, officially known as Empresa Brasileira de Aeronautica, was established in 1969 by the Brazilian government with the goal of developing the country's aerospace industry. From its inception, Embraer has focused on designing, manufacturing, and selling aircraft for various markets, including commercial, agricultural, and military sectors. Over the years, the company has evolved into a major player in the global aerospace industry, renowned for its innovation and quality. Despite being headquartered in São José dos Campos, Brazil, Embraer's influence extends well beyond its home country. It is the third largest commercial airplane manufacturer in the world, trailing only behind Boeing and Airbus. This is a remarkable achievement, considering the fierce competition and high entry barriers in the aerospace industry. Embraer has carved out a niche for itself by specializing in regional jets, a segment that has seen substantial growth and demand, particularly in emerging markets. Embraer's journey to becoming a global leader in regional aviation is marked by several key milestones. The launch of the ERJ-145 family in the 1990s was a pivotal moment, establishing Embraer as a significant player in the regional jet market. These aircraft were well received for their reliability, efficiency, and suitability for short-haul flights, which were increasingly in demand. Building on this success, Embraer introduced the E-Jet series in the early 2000s, further cementing its reputation for producing high-quality, efficient regional jets. The company's diversification into different aviation sectors has also been a critical factor in its growth. In addition to commercial aircraft, Embraer produces military aircraft, executive jets, and agricultural planes. This diversification not only stabilizes the company's revenue streams, but also enhances its technological capabilities. For instance, the knowledge and technology gained from military aircraft development often influence the design and innovation of commercial jets, and vice versa. Embraer's E2 series of jetliners represents the latest evolution in the company's successful line of e-jets, first introduced at the Paris Air Show in 2013. The E2 series is designed specifically for medium-range operations and embodies significant advancements over its predecessors. This new generation of aircraft aims to meet the demands of a rapidly changing aviation market that prioritizes efficiency, sustainability, and operational flexibility. The E-2 series officially entered service on April 20, 2018, with the Norwegian regional carrier Widero operating the E-190 E-2. This marked the beginning of a new chapter for Embraer, as the E-2 series brought several innovative features to the table. The family comprises three main variants, the E-175 E-2, the E-190 E-2, and the E-195 E-2. These aircraft share a common narrow-body fuselage but differ in length, seating capacity, and range, catering to different market needs. 1. E-175 E-2 The E-175 E-2 is the smallest variant in the E-2 family, designed to accommodate around 90 passengers. This aircraft builds on the success of the first-generation E-175, which was particularly popular with U.S.-based regional carriers. However, development of the new generation E-175 E-2 has been paused for undisclosed reasons.
The E-175E2 was expected to offer improved fuel efficiency and performance, making it an attractive option for airlines looking to modernize their regional fleets. Number 2. E-190E2 The E-190E2 sits in the middle of the E-2 family, offering a capacity of up to 114 passengers in a single-class configuration. It boasts a range of approximately 2,900 nautical miles, making it suitable for a variety of medium-range routes. One of its notable features is the high wingspan ratio, which enhances aerodynamic efficiency. The E-190E2 is designed to provide a balance of capacity and range, appealing to airlines operating on routes that require flexible and efficient aircraft. At number 3, 195E2. The largest and most popular variant is the E-195E2. This aircraft extends the original E-195 by three-seat rows, accommodating up to 146 passengers. Despite its larger size, the E-195E2 maintains a competitive range of around 2,655 nautical miles. It is designed for airlines looking to maximize capacity on medium-range routes while benefiting from the operational efficiencies of a smaller aircraft. The E-195E2's high wingspan ratio and advanced aerodynamics contribute to its fuel efficiency and performance. The E2 series is powered by Pratt & Whitney's Pure Power PW 1900G geared turbofan engines, which replace the general electric engines used in earlier E-Jet generations. These engines are a significant advancement, offering a 17.3% increase in fuel efficiency compared to previous models. This efficiency gain translates into substantial cost savings for airlines, making the E2 series a highly economical choice. The E2 jetliners also feature spacious interiors despite their smaller size compared to some competitors. The unique cabin configuration prioritizes passenger comfort without compromising on performance or cost savings. Furthermore, the E2 series is exceptionally quiet, producing about 11% less noise than competing aircraft like the Airbus A220. This makes them ideal for airports with noise restrictions and enhances the overall passenger experience. One of the most significant advantages of the E2 series is its exceptional fuel efficiency. The aircraft are powered by Pratt & Whitney's Pure Power PW 1900 Juddie E geared turbofan engines, which replace the general electric engines used in previous E-Jet generations. These engines offer a 17.3% increase in efficiency over previous models and a 16% performance improvement compared to similar aircraft on the market. This makes the E-2 series the most fuel-efficient aircraft in its class, catering to under 150 seats. The aviation industry is under increasing pressure to reduce its environmental footprint. The E-2 series addresses this challenge by incorporating advanced technologies designed to minimize CO2 emissions. The E-195E2, for example, has completed a 100% sustainable aviation fuel flight test, showcasing its potential to operate with significantly lower carbon emissions. When replacing larger, less efficient aircraft, the E-2 series can reduce carbon emissions by up to 30%. Now, let's talk about market adoption and future prospects. Embraer's E-2 series jetliners have been gaining significant traction in the market, reflecting the growing demand for efficient and sustainable aircraft. The series' innovative features and alignment with industry trends have made it an attractive choice for airlines worldwide, resulting in increasing orders and deliveries. Embraer's E-2 series has seen a notable rise in deliveries in recent years. In the first half of 2023 alone, Embraer delivered 62 aircraft, marking a 47% increase compared to the previous year. This uptick in deliveries underscores the market's positive reception of the E-2 series and its growing adoption by airlines. The aircraft have been ordered by several notable airlines, reflecting their confidence in the E-2's capabilities and performance. American Airlines, one of the largest carriers in the world, has placed orders for 7E-175E-2S with plans to expand their fleet further. This order is significant, as it highlights the E-2's appeal 
to major airlines looking to modernize their regional fleets with more efficient and environmentally friendly aircraft. Other airlines, such as Spain's Binter Canarias, SGA Airways, and Royal Jordanian Airlines, have also placed orders for E-2 jetliners, further demonstrating the series' broad market appeal. Looking ahead, the future prospects for Embraer's E-2 series appear promising. The series is well positioned to capitalize on the expected growth in regional and medium-haul markets, particularly in regions like Asia, where air travel demand is surging. The E-2's operational versatility, allowing it to access airports with narrow or short runways, makes it suitable for expanding route networks in emerging markets. With that said, that's a wrap of our video, and if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others. Thanks for watching.